All right, hello everybody. Wolfpack here, and welcome to some Silent Hunter 4. And I saw my desktop there for a second. Hopefully, it didn't last too long. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, this game's kind of finicky to stream, apparently. So that's why you saw that. Let's go ahead and actually uh, uh, do something else real quick here. Uh, where is it? Let's get rid of that. All right, there we go. Now we're golden. Full cinematic experience here. Mwah, chef's kiss. So we're going to be streaming Silent Hunter 4 with a kind of new mod called Dark Waters, which uh, is kind of a reiteration of Operation Monsoon, which some of you might have heard of. It uh, puts you in the role of a U-boat commander, but in Silent Hunter 4. So you have all that good gameplay of Silent Hunter 3, with all the graphics and stuff of Silent Hunter 4. Now, let me know. Okay, I think that might be might be a little loud, and uh, you get to see my beautiful background here. We're gonna turn we're gonna turn that down a little bit right there. There we go. This is this is not <laughs> the best stream. Uh, it, just the way this game works. All right, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get underway. We're gonna do a U-boat campaign, obviously, and we're gonna start. In 1942, February 1st, I think, we're going to be in the 29th Flotilla, which some of you might know as, uh, well, it's based out of Las Spezia in the Mediterranean, which uh, should be interesting. Hey, Kyrus, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Logan, and Finnish, welcome to the stream as well. And hello, Olong Johnson, and... Logan. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm streaming at kind of an oddball time. I just... <laughs> I, I never can seem to have my streams at uh, decent times. And none of this really matters right now. What should I name my U-Boat Commander? Whoever submits it in the chat first, uh, it is. As long as it's not completely inappropriate. Uh, nothing too obscene, please. And, uh, you know, if it takes, if it's over a minute and I still don't have a name, I will name him. And, uh, my name's gonna be lame, so, speak up. Hello, Avoid Star. Welcome. The Void Star, is your name based off of the, uh, Star Worship? Out of curiosity? Cheeky Breaky. There we go. That's the first name. Gosh, so many good ones. Unfortunately, you two has a delay. Oh man, there's, um, and there's a name limit. Um, if if there wasn't a name limit, I would use all of them, and uh, my captain would have, you know, <laughs> a very long name. His birth certificate would be fantastic. Oh man, I forgot po uh, what Rodriguez's is <laughs> first name was. Hey, yeah, no problem, Kyrus. And I say hi to your girlfriend. Hope you guys have a wonderful Australia day. I don't know if that's the the correct <laughs> terminology. All right, so cheeky, cheeky breaky is the name. There we go, Captain Captain. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right. Uh, cheeky Bricky. You have been approved for the command of the U-747. Wow, we're an airplane. This is a flight sim now. A Type 7C class submarine assigned to the 29th Flotilla. Report to La Spezia no later than February 2nd, 1942. Yeter uh, Muller. Man, so many fantastic names. Oh, man. No <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I apologize. I couldn't use all those fantastic things. Next time I do a Silent Hunter series, though, I'm definitely going to ask uh, for for names because these are fantastic and much better than uh, Herbert Klump, which is my current U-boat captain uh, in uh, the Silent Hunter series. So we can get some upgrades. We're going to go with... Uh, what emblem do we want? Unfortunately, this game is... Uh, 
there's some things that Silent Hunter 4 lags behind in Silent Hunter 3, and one of those is you can't see your little emblem, so you have to just know the U-boat emblem. And you know what? Everybody you knows the U-96, so we're going to go with the U-96 emblem here, somewhere. There we go. And uh, there's some other things we can uh, adjust here. Uh, oh, you can do custom emblems and such. Oh, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and go to our torpedo loadout. Yeah, Cheeky Bricky doesn't sound like a, a, a spy at all. <laughs> see, you ra see you later, Kairos. I don't know if you're still here. I doubt it. He's celebrating Australia, which I don't blame him. Um, I I know. I'm a, yeah, I'm grounded. It says finish. You know what? I don't I don't have to take this from you, buddy. And we're taking. Oh my goodness. So we'll take a mixed loadout. We have quite a few G7Es, and then we'll take uh, four G7As, which are the steam torpedoes, just to get, just to make this a little spicy. And also, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some crew on here. We'll just put some crew in the crew bird thing, just in case we need more bodies. Hey, thanks, John Keller. I appreciate it. I, I'm actually a little late. I'm at 5,070 something. Uh, my channel has been growing at a quite a quite a, a rate uh, <laughs> I must say um, I remember a year ago when I was excited to get 30 subscribers in a month um, but now now I get 30 subscribers in a day which is uh, quite exciting for me uh, I'm quite happy with how the channel is doing and it's fun I love it it's it's good uh, oh oh uh, finish was making a a Boeing joke there about the Max being grounded. That, that's great. <laughs> I got it. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little dense sometimes. It seems that was funny. I'm really laughing it up over here. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't need to change anything here. I'm just kidding. I love you, Finish. Don't leave me. You're my only mod. I need you. Um, so should I play? We'll do no stabilized view because I hate myself. We'll also do, do we want to do no map contact updates? Yes or no? I'm really just rambling around here, but uh, I figured this is, this is your guys' stream. What do, what do you, what do you want to see? Uh, should I play without map, map contact updates or do you want to see it? Oh my god. This stream was haphazardly thrown together, and I'm already almost out of water, so I might, I might have to run and grab some water here momentarily. Yes for no map contact updates, or yes for having map contact updates? Make it 100% realism. You don't want to see the the external? Everyone wants 100%. Oh my god. All right. 100%. 100% realism. Apply changes. There we go. You know, I actually enjoy playing like this. Although I'm not good at it, I do enjoy it. All right. February 2nd, 1942 is when we're departing. U-747. Deploy to grid CF-72 and conduct anti-shipping operations along the north coast of Egypt. Remain within 100 kilometers of the center of the grid and remain on station for 72 hours. All right. Everyone... Well, finished one at external, but, uh... Yeah, that... I guess this is a democracy. Okay, okay, we'll go back. It looks like some people want external. We'll, we'll, we'll do external, but I won't do it in combat. I'll just show you guys the mod and everything, because uh, this is a new mod on the channel, so we'll, we'll do external. All right, and uh, so 92%. You know, that's still an A. Um, that's passing. That's a good grade. I would be happy with that in any class. All right, so we'll start docked at tender and get underway here. All right. Okay, it looks like quite a few people wanted the, uh, just, I don't know what that noise was, yep, wanted the, uh, actually go 1% realism. Meme stream? Meme boat? This unlimited torpedoes? That sounds like a good time, too. 
We'll, uh, we'll get this organized. And welcome. This is... Here we go. Here's the boat. Can I walk around? Yeah, I can. I actually haven't played this. In, and hello. Look what we got there. I actually haven't played this mod too, too much, really. So uh, this will be a first for me as well. But I have to say, everything looks quite good in here. Uh, the step up from Silent Hunter 4 to... Uh, or Silent Hunter 3 to 4, I should say, is quite impressive. And the crew looks good as well, comparatively. Hey, thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate it. Right, and here's the boat. Oh, we have a... We have somebody standing in the corner doing nothing. If this was the U-Boat game, I would execute him. <laughs> As you can execute a slacking crewman in that game. And oh my gosh, I just went to the side of the screen here like I'm playing Silent Hunter 3. It's been a hot minute since I've been in 4. And here we are on the bridge in Las Basia. No band to play us off. Nothing of the sort. We have a... Whoa, boy. Whoa, Nelly. We have a, a merchant ship right there. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to limit my frame right here. I didn't realize... Because look at that. That's going to be... That's going to be bad. But, okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's get out of here. So, uh, my frame rate is probably an absurd... <laughs> <laughs> absurd number right now so some of the stations are tied to frame rate so uh, your cursor will go extremely fast I haven't limited it in this game I should probably do that I don't know if I can do it in game so we'll have to put up with it for the stream and then we'll go just we'll sail just south of Sicily this is normally a pretty good uh, convoy route All right, now let's get this boat on the move. Whoa, what the, f what the hell? Oh boy. Oh well, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, the Italian Navy, everybody. Oh my, oh my gosh. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh man. All right, we gotta take a look at that now. <laughs> uh, this game, did they collide? Oh, there's two of them. Oh no. Oh my, get off, don't just stand there. Oh. Oh, goodbye, well look at these, uh, look at these effects. We get a good look at the, uh, the, the graphical fidelity of this mod. It's like this one's exploding as well. It's going under. Oh, uh, good thing it's fairly low in the water. They can raise it, I suppose. Oh no. Well, hopefully uh, this big boy doesn't do that. Right here. As we are going to sail pretty close to him. Hopefully he doesn't uh, spontaneously explode near us and uh, kill me and my crew. That would be very unfortunate. So we'll stick on the bridge and uh, make sure nothing else uh, wild happens here. Uh, Barry Wilson, the realism is set at, what, 92%? So it's pretty much everything except uh, the external review. I have no map contact updates on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to avoid this big merchant ship here and admire the port from afar. I do want to uh, navigate out of the harbor on the surface, mostly because of that. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that was crazy. Got to love it. Got to love Silent Hunter sometimes. It's like its, it's flag is still flying, though. You know, you can, you can make a national anthem out of that. No, I don't think it was an, an air attack. That would have been cool, though. No, it was just a, uh... A malfunction, I guess. I don't even know what to call it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
All right, let's go ahead and get this boat on move. Hopefully this isn't too, okay, this is okay. Uh, this is manageable. I should have thought about limiting the frame rate before I hopped in, that's, well, there's no way I can really do it unless I pause the stream and I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on course. I hope it's not too, uh, too annoying for you guys. I guess is what I'm really worried about. Hello, Matthew. Welcome to the stream, man. It's going to be annoying on the binoculars, though. Oh, well. Go ahead and use some time compression here and uh, get on out of here. Yeah, maybe they were sweeping mines. That's a good explanation for uh, what just happened there. Let's see. Can you give me the nearest contact, please? Okay, so I guess the big merchant ship is the nearest contact. Okay, so we are scot-free. All right. Yeah, and we're just cruising. Here's the map. Looks pretty cool. I figured I'd do the Mediterranean as it is something different. Once upon a time, a lot of you old guard might remember, I did do a Silent Hunter 3 Mediterranean series. It ended kind of poorly because of uh, game issues, unfortunately, but I do really want to uh, do want to go back and uh, what's it called? Redo it eventually. There's so much I want to do, though. So much content, so little time. All right, we'll go ahead and start smashing that time compression button. And I will take a drink. Hey, that's pretty cool, Matthew. Alright, so we'll keep sailing around. Let's take a look out. So my last episode in that Silent Hunter 3 Mediterranean series, I actually infiltrated Alexandria. Maybe that is something we can do this patrol for the stream. That's that's pretty spicy. Or we can uh, kind of hang out around the Suez Canal. That could be fun as well. Hmm. Hmm. So many options. Well, we'll keep going. I don't want to use too much time compression as the game can get kind of finicky with that so we'll stick around here I mean this is a relatively high t time compression let's actually take a look at the game at night it's still looking pretty good oh we'll find we'll find something to sink I think I, I'm not too worried about that We got something. I would love to play the gramophone, but unfortunately, that would uh, that would cause some issues with my YouTube overlords. So we're gonna go ahead and hold off on that <laughs> for the time being. Oh man. To do, Paletta. they forgot their taxes, David. Uh, yeah. So in Salt Hunter, you have a gramophone where you can play, you know, songs from the time period, and uh. You know, a lot of them are still copywritten, unfortunately, for me and my... 
I've, I've thrown one of them. I found... In one of my Silent Hunter videos, I was able to find a version of Stormy Weather. Which didn't get, uh... Struck, but yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep this, uh... Video up for everybody, uh, Logan. Let's see. Alright. Operation Newland. You won 56, 67, 502, 161, and you 129. In the middle of. Fe uh, wait. Until the middle of February, wait in the South Caribbean. Further instructions will follow. Donuts. What could that be? Go ahead and uh, keep on going. So, let's see. It's just around morning, and we're going to be flying right here near. Uh, Malta. That's that might be a uh, <laughs> that might cause some issues <laughs> for us. Uh, but you know what? I love issues. Let's get closer. Let's see. We'll be sailing within uh, 36 kilometers of it. Come and get me, Tommies. Let's see what's the what's our depth under keel in this area? 431 meters. That's that's yeah, you know, not good, not great. Yeah, I think they kind of randomized it, Tommy. Let's go ahead and actually go to periscope depth. Got the, the laughing sawfish as our emblem. Makes me want to go watch uh, Das Boat again, which I've been thinking about doing anyway, but this just gives me another excuse. What a movie. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I was at Ride of the Valkyries is uh, copyright free, thankfully. Get off the bridge! Oh no! Okay, there they go. They went down. Wow, this looks good. I have to say, this looks awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and drop down to a head slow. And bring us down to 25 meters, please. And we'll use some time compression. I get all the way down there. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious water. Alright, so we're at 23 meters. Hopefully we'll be able to hear something. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's our engines. I guess there is nothing out here. Just our own engines. Oh boy. Yep, I guess there's nothing. Watch a uh, death boat, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> uh, James? Let's see, and Finnish is indeed a qualified dive officer. We've been playing a lot of Wolfpack together. As a matter of fact, I have like 60 gigabytes of Wolfpack footage that I need to get on the channel. Logan's saying he's surprised I don't stream on Twitch. Yeah, that is, that's something I'm thinking of really transferring over to uh, as my channel gets a gets more popular. Um, there There are a lot of benefits to Twitch. One reason I'm sticking to YouTube for now is mostly it's just, uh, this is where my audience is. But no, the, the more I'm thinking about transferring to Twitch. Um, I do have a Twitch channel. 
Uh, Wolfpack3451 <laughs> is my uh, Twitch handle, uh, if you're interested. I, I think I will end up uh, transferring sooner, probably, sooner than later. Uh, I do want to get a consistent streaming schedule, however. So we'll see how that goes, but... Because right now, it's just kind of, you know, whatever. You spend a year snorkeling in the Marshall Islands trying to find Spongebob? Uh, that is a noble cause, Jeffrey. No, I agree, Cameron. It really is. Uh, especially with the integration with streaming software, it is significantly better. So, I don't know. The only thing keeping me streaming on YouTube is the... Uh, it's just the audience. <laughs> I'll be streaming, uh, I'll be streaming, uh, with the supermodel. Oh, vote! Southwest, fast. That is pretty far away, though. Oh, man, he is over 300 kilometers away. Yeah, we'll just keep on cruising. There's going to be a lot of traffic here, especially by the Suez Canal. That is definitely going to be uh, uh, a hot spot. Oh, you post my vids on Facebook, James? I do appreciate that. And I appreciate it, Logan. Yeah, uh, I do think I'll end up... Especially, uh, I want to stream games that aren't necessarily uh, channel-specific. I kind of want to branch out, and I think live streaming is a good way to do that. Uh, will I be posting the streams on YouTube? This one definitely will stay up, uh, K Bucks. So it'll be a VOD later. Appreciate that, James. Oh, we got another message. All right. Since January 11th, several German submarines have operated before the American eastern coast. Following success, fo following successes became known. Okay, U-66, their commander Zap, five ships sunk. U-109, some four ships. U-123, which was actually the first boat on station, a Type 9B submarine. Uh, Hardigan, who actually died, I want to say maybe just over a year ago, D sunk eight ships for 52,000 tons. A further U.S. tanker, Malaya. Uh, U-125 sunk a U.S. freighter, and U-130, Commander Claw, sunk six ships. Just in the opening, uh, opening days of the war. It's currently February 7th, 1942. So, pretty cool. Uh, will I post the live streams as vids here? Yeah, I might actually. That's probably a good idea. I probably will end up doing that. Hello, unknown. Welcome to the stream, man. We're just, uh, shooting the shit. As we, uh, get down here towards Alexandria and Port Said. So, uh, it's a, it's a slow journey. But we are taking a look at a brand new mod called Dark Waters. And I am just gonna... <laughs> to a text message oh hey dry dog dreams games I appreciate it man I did not see your comment hey all 54 of you you need to check out that game called uh, task force admiral that uh, dry dog dreams games is currently making it looks fantastic uh, it's like a, it reminds me a lot of Task Force 1942, but it's a, it's a mixture of games. It looks really good. All right, so we'll keep on sailing. Let's go ahead and actually do another, uh, dive here. Let's go down to, we'll go down to 40 meters this time. Let's check our depth under keel before, yeah, over a thousand meters. We're good. Yeah, I agree, Dry Dog. That's why I'm thinking if I were to do it, 
there are ways you can have the chat show up on the actual stream and the video. So I might do it like that and then upload the video that way. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Curbs you, um, I would definitely look at this mod. Silent Hunter 4 is much more modder, modding friendly, I guess is the way to put it, than Silent Hunter 3. Silent Hunter 3 is 15 years old now. So uh, it can be a bit difficult, but this Dark Waters mod is just one mod. You install it via JSGME, and you're good to go for the most part. How deep can the sub go? Well, it can go pretty deep. I don't really want to test <laughs> test our limits too much here. But according to this, our crush depth is 260 meters. We can probably give or take. But we'll go ahead and drop down to 60 and uh, listen. All right, 37 meters, and we'll keep on keep on going down. Let's drop speed down as well. I'm surprised we actually haven't uh, come across an aircraft or anything yet. I should have started later in the war. Code and signal for captain's eyes only. Involves Operation Newland to all involved boats. Until Newland, attacks could only be made with goals. What? I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to let that. Uh... Yeah, uh, it says 260 meters. That's my max here on uh, the depth gauge, so. I'm not going to test that. Yeah, we can go pretty deep. I don't think we'd make it to that uh, depth, though. We'd probably crush beforehand. I believe, I believe test depth on a lot of these boats was around 90 meters. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. There's my engines again. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, still nothing. We'll hang out for a bit at 40 meters. See if we can pick anything up as we uh, continue. Oh, and it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and surface the boat. Yeah, guys, when I die, the stream's over, so <laughs> I'd be careful what you wish for. Nah, I'm just playing. Oh. We'll probably do, we'll do something absurd. I'm thinking a port raid on Alexandria here. Or maybe even going into the Suez Canal. That sounds hilarious. Uh, we gotta, we gotta go out with a bang. <laughs> for this, uh, for this 5,000 subscriber special. Right? Short stream says <laughs> finish. Uh, let's see. How long have, I've only been streaming 33 minutes. I still, I still have something... I still have some time in me. It's just getting started. It's only midnight here. Sabotage Doctor. Hey, Wolfpack. Been following your Silent Hunter 3 series and was wondering what your favorite Silent Hunter game is. Silent Hunter 3. Uh, for a lot of reasons. Part of it's probably nostalgia at this point. Uh, but I think Silent Hunter 3 is just overall peak Silent Hunter. You know, relatively bug-free, and the modding community has done wonders for that game. And, uh, it's really fun. Silent Hunter 4 is a close second, however. And, uh, Silent Hunter 5 I'd rather really not talk about. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of Silent Hunter 5. I know a lot of you guys like it, but, uh... Yeah, not, uh... Not to, I could never really get into it. Curb says, you know, release a new Silent Hunter game. Yeah, I, I don't think that will ever happen. I think uh, the best thing to do is to look at indie studios. Like, uh, they're making, there's a, a, an absurd amount of naval games coming out this upcoming year. Uh, we have, you know, Dry Dry Dreams games. I'm not sure if that one's coming out this year. Uh, 
but and then also sea power which was made by an ex killer fish dev and then ultimate admiral dreadnoughts and u-boat and wolf pack it's just a lot it's a very good time to be a uh, a gamer like this yeah, Silent Hunter 5 definitely has. And Silent Hunter 5 looks very good. Uh, I have no quarrels with Silent Hunter 5's graphics. But uh, good graphics doesn't necessarily mean. Uh, good graphics doesn't necessarily mean a good game. Uh, ever tried a U-boat? Yeah, I have played. I've played quite a bit of U-boat. I have a few videos on it. It's a it's a fun game as well. Like I said, there's there's a lot of stuff coming out. I'm very happy. I never thought I'd see the day, <laughs> quite frankly, but uh, it's good. Yeah, Logan, I am playing Wolfpack. As a matter of fact, you know, Finnish and uh, Tortuga and a few other guys been playing a lot of Wolfpack. I have uh. A lot of footage to sift through. I have some videos I need to make for that. Alright, we'll go ahead and uh, just do a little patrol pattern over here. Right outside of Alexandria. I'm really surprised we haven't detected anything across our journey. Where are we getting up? What is going on? Oh, Operation Severus begins. Battle cruisers Shornhorst and Geniza now. Heavy cruiser Prince Eugen with escorts are leaving Brest Harbor for German seas. All submarines in the area of the British Channel must be ready to help the operation. Oh, the Channel Dash is currently underway. But yeah, the Wolfpack Wolfpack videos. Oh man, they're gonna be good. They're, that game is... It is everything I could ever want. It is intense. It is funny. It's perfect. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and start patrolling these waters. Hopefully, we find something here. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Convoy speed, heading west. Speed is 14 knots. So, ooh, that's gonna. Let's go ahead and change course. Let's head south. I'll head full. So, if we look here, if they they're probably following the coast here. Uh, that's my best guess. Well, let's go ahead and west, and let's get rid of all of this here. Oh boy, I'm not playing Silent Hunter Three. The UI is different. It's tripping me up. See how long is it going to take me to get down there? We're only going six knots. What the hell is going on up here? Is the weather bad? Oh yeah, that explains why we're only going six knots. Okay, so this might be a hard catch. Let's see, eight, nine, ten knots. Is that all we can muster? Yeah, we're not recharging batteries as far as I can tell. Okay, so this going to take probably close to six hours to get there. Oh, I keep doing that because that's how you plot your course in Silent Hunter 3. So let's take a look here. So we'll do 60 minutes. Their speed is 14 knots. This is how you do this, by the way. So they'll go uh, 30 kilometers an hour. So let's go ahead and drag this out. So... I'll be about here when we get there. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, that should be okay. So, we'll see. We'll see if we can do it. Let's go ahead and actually go flank. I'm getting some screen tearing because of my high frame rate. Herr 
All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I am getting awfully close to the shore. This is probably going to be a disaster. Um, uh, da, da, da. hey, Mr. Creeps, my Mediterranean Salt Hunter Three campaign videos got me in the sub sims. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. I'm glad you could get into sub sims. It's a fascinating genre. Oh yeah, Dry Dock. I don't blame the uh, dev team. The dev team actually went on uh, a good chunk of them. They made uh, Door Kickers, which is a uh, SWAT strategy game. Uh, some of the Silent Hunter devs worked on that game. Uh, it's it's Ubisoft that uh, ruined it. The publisher. Which is quite unfortunate, but it looks like uh, the genre is moving on to better things. No, yeah, I don't blame the devs at all. Alright, we're sure. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, let's go ahead and go down to 60 meters. No, and, that, and that's why Silent Hunter 5 was a disaster. Is I mean, they rushed it out. Like they, they tend to do with a lot of g games today. So, uh, but it's okay. I like I said. I if you asked me like five years ago if I would see another game like Silent Hunter or another sub sim, I would have <laughs> I would have said probably not. But uh, I don't know. It's it's fat. It's amazing. I'm very happy with all the games coming out. It's good for everybody. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Oh, that is definitely a convoy from uh, around 210, 280, it's very faint. Oh, so we, we did fairly well here. They're out there. So let's go ahead and change course. Let's head due south. Yeah, I guess uh, my thing was uh, U-Boat games made uh, somewhat recently. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess the last one really, last U-Boat game was really Silent Hunter 5, and that came out in 2010, so it's been a decade. But now we have a, a surge of them. I do understand that. I guess there was also there was another game called Crash Dive, which was another indie U-boat game. Two, five, three degrees. Let's go to periscope depth. Zero tiefe. I wonder what this could be. Very cla very fast moving. Oh no, it's just fast closing. Two seven five. All right, we're currently at periscope depth. No, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. I am definitely excited to see more Pacific uh, theater games, though. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not seeing much. We're at 13 meters. It's very choppy, so it's making this a bit difficult. Mm. 
I think they're still probably out of visual range. Let's come up. We'll sit there and wait. It seems like they're actually coming towards us, so there's no need to really rush things here. Let's go ahead and get my hydrophone operator and actually follow the target. I forgot what the button looks like. Follow nearest contact. Without the map contact updates, it makes this a little more interesting, huh? Now they're saying, no oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. There's a ship right there on the horizon. One lone merchant ship. Okay, there's two ships out there. You can see their superstructures just coming out of the fog. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a destroyer right there. Oh my goodness. I think visibility is actually rather poor. And we're significantly closer than I want to be. I can't tell what's really going on. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see this with uh, YouTube compression. I hope I'm in a relatively decent... Let's go ahead and bump up the speed and try to close here. Look at that destroyer in the fog. That is terrifying. Oh, two destroyers right there. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, task force. You know, I want to be honest. No, never mind. That kind of looks like HMS Nelson. I'm just craning my neck. <laughs> oh, I just breathed into the mic there. Hope you guys like that. change course yeah I figured you guys want to be able to see very much I don't even know what they're doing like uh, they've adopted some weird zigzag pattern let's go ahead and rudder a midships right here I don't even know if I want to be able to close the gap here. I'm tempted, I'm halfway tempted to surface and uh, try to outrun them. Because at this rate, they're going, what, we established 14 knots previously? Hmm, and the sun is setting. Yeah, the sun's just setting, so we might have a chance to surface and uh, go about. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can make up whatever I want. Hmm, that looks like an aircraft carrier out there. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true, Logan. But, uh, I, I wouldn't sink the Nelson out of principle. Talk about the best looking British battleship ever made. But we'll go ahead and continue to, we'll use some time compression here. And continue to close. Let's see. Why am I not? I'm not hearing anything now. My hydrophone operator asleep. Let's go ahead and man battle stations. Uh, Salty Dodger? No, this mod is a separate mod called Dark Waters. It is a. Uh, it's built up upon Operation Monsoon, which is another mod for Silent Hunter. Four. <laughs> uh, Finnish Jaeger loves how HMS Nelson looks. Oh, 
let's see what we got going on. So I think I might wait till nighttime, surface the boat, and uh, it looks like they changed course. And that definitely, that looks like a, a cruiser to me. Uh, no, we are not sinking uh, Japanese merchant ships. Get me out of that. Oh boy. The Britain. Uh, I'm not sure about an Silent Hunter 5 uh, dry dock. I I'm know in Silent Hunter 4 and 3 you can be detected by radar on surface ships. Which is kind of my concern here, uh, partially. It looks like this con this task force completely just changed course and is heading the op- They sure are. Oh man. I feel like it's such a terrible idea to surface, but uh, let's do it. <laughs> If they if they pick me up, it'll be an entertaining video, you know. Uh, let's change course, head east. Scope down, all ahead full. Yeah. Also, these very choppy seas might cause some issues with their radar. That's the hope, anyway. Okay, my crew doesn't even see the enemy ship, so... I think we'll be okay. Dead ahead, medium range is what they say. Oh my gosh, that is close. It must just be extremely foggy. Uh, oh, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I don't like it. Let's change. Let's turn. I think I'm just picking up the shores. I, look, they changed course again. Now they're heading west. I swore they. I just saw a pair heading east. Get me back on the bridge. Look, those that those two destroyers are heading east, maybe. And these two guys that are very close are heading west. Well, let's go ahead and sail away from them. No thank you. Oh, man. Uh, water keeps lapping over our bridge and keeps kicking me down to below decks. It's kind of annoying. These are some very rough seas. Okay, that thing is mighty, mighty close. Uh, it's turning toward okay dive crash dive actually oh no he definitely saw us <laughs> oh boy yeah I I thought they were just way out there on the horizon I guess it was just fog let's stick it Come back to Periscope. Change course. Head north. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> yeah, I do believe this uh, convoy is being, uh, or these escorts are definitely screening something, something a little juicy. Uh, to be quite honest with you. Come up to Periscope depth, please. I need to see. Uh, let's prepare for this. Alright, AOB? Uh, it's going to be zero. <laughs> Range, 400, 500 meters. Where are you, Tommy? Slow down. Maybe he didn't see us. Maybe he was just turning. 
rig for silent running. Moving fast, bearing 017. Give me an update on the nearest ship, por favor. One thirty-nine. Yeah, I thought he was behind me. Oh, oh, he's turning away. Okay. Let's make sure that wasn't the one I was looking at. Okay, let's change course. So we're gonna stay submerged a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, that was that was nuts. All right. Yeah, very fast moving away. Is that still the nearest ship? Let's go down. Let's go down to 25. Nice try, Tommies. Alright. I'm very curious to see what this is, uh, what this convoy is. Or, I guess it's a task force, technically. Our first update on it Maybe it's the same. I think it's the same one. It was, it's heading west and fast, but uh, they're zigzagging about in an awfully odd uh, pattern. So, who knows? It's making it difficult on me with uh, no map contact updates. Have I won yet? No, I have not, Roslyn. Not yet, anyway. Not that. He is winning in this game is dying. Fast closing, 0 17. Let's take a listen. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're okay. Looks like the majority of them are moving away. Some are closing still. I don't know what the hell is going on. This is so bonkers. Let's turn towards their track. So there's one lone... Warship at uh, zero four zero. Where's the bulk of them? Uh, something's breaking up. Okay, the bulk of them are at two five zero. Oh wow. Okay. We'll go ahead and turn over towards them. And come back up to periscope depth and take another look. All right, the the intense music stopped, so I think we're in the clear. Yeah, that was the plan. I was going to try a down the throat shot if that guy was chasing me. Let's come up a bit more. Still quite a few of them out there. I don't know what, there's so much stuff out here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to prioritize. Okay, there is the, okay, I see them. It's like one, two, four, possibly more. Destroyers, just destroyers, that's lame. That's not very fun. Yeah, there's one way out there as well. Nothing super close. Yeah, I don't see a battleship or anything uh, too exciting here. It just looks like a bunch of destroyers. Quite frankly, that doesn't seem like uh, a worthy target for possibly getting killed. It looks like there's something way out there. It's mass is just peeking over the horizon. What is that, though? Is that a destroyer or a cruiser? If it's a cruiser, I might do it. Yeah, that kind of looks like a cruiser right there. At, uh, 325 degrees. Let's turn northwest. There's also something out here. Lots of smoke. That might be what's actually breaking up. Okay, there's more ships at 350. 
Looks like two more destroyers. Let's go ahead and up up our speed and secure from silent. I'm not too worried about it. This rough sea is going to help us out quite a lot, actually. There's a ship right behind us. Looks like a destroyer. It looks like a hunt class destroyer. Yeah, these waves are making it difficult, but overall it is okay. What is that? I'm just trying to get my bearings here and see what's going on. What's what? What is all this stuff? These look like merchant ships, possibly. Yeah, those look like merchant ships to me. Two merchants. Three merchants. So there's literally stuff all around us. What is going on? Well, I'm going to head for the cluster of warships. Because I think I've picked out a cruiser there. Somewhere there's a cruiser. Yeah, that's a cruiser right there. And I think that might be another cruiser trailing behind it. So I have two cruisers, definitely. Maybe these other guys are cruisers and not destroyers as well, so... Let me catch up on chat. Yeah. Oh boy. 4 DDs has got to be something important. Yeah, I'm thinking there might be something else over the horizon or something I can't see here. Hands Wolfpack Lucky Cap. Oh, I'm going to die. Uh, there's a sub mod to make the difficult or the escorts harder. Uh, there's like a level 1 and a level 2. I, I, <laughs> I turned on the level 2 because I like pain. What is this thing? That's pretty close. We'll go ahead and use some more time compression. Let's change course a little bit more. And we'll really just wait for nightfall. I don't... I'm not too keen on surfacing the boat. Again, after the last fiasco. And this shot is just way too far. I don't see it being successful whatsoever. And they're just going to sail... Oh boy. Sail right in front of us. Let's take a listen on hydrophones. Zero seven zero. Where? What's the closest contact? Can you tell me that? What's the closest thing? Zero four zero. So what I'm looking at essentially, these are the closest targets. What is that? Something else way out there. I'll just go ahead and normal sweep, please. And right, let me check again. Hey, thanks, Tobis. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's like quite an exciting time for the channel. Yeah, there's something breaking up way out there. Oh boy. Oh, hello there. It looks like they've regrouped for the most part. And sorry, this is a little slower pace than normal because I don't have the map. Are they turning back towards me? Oh, please do. Okay, they are turning. Let's come up so I can see. Oh, they are turning. Oh, this might be perfect then. Okay, definitely a cruiser, at least. Let's go ahead and ahead start moving. Looks like the seas might be calming down a little bit here as well.
Uh, it looks like they were heading towards me, but it's very possible they might just be heading away. Yeah, I think the best course of action is to really just wait for nighttime. I don't see the sinking ship on visual. It's probably underneath the waves and it's just breaking up. Uh, it's going to be kind of impossible for me to find it. Whoa. Kicking up all sorts of water. It's starting to get a little dark. Can you tell me where the nearest contact is once more? No sound contact. It's a filthy lie and you know it. They're way out there on the horizon. I think I'm... Might be clear to surface. Yeah, I think I'm clear. Alright, the surface, all ahead flank. No, let's actually secure from battle station so I don't work my men to death. Oh, God damn it, we're already getting kicked below the deck because of the waves. Okay, I saw him. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the stream, Twash. Nice to see you here. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and run parallel to these guys for the time being. Uh, we should be able to catch up. They are only heading, presumably, 14 knots. And I need to stop recharging my batteries here. How do I do that in this? Oh my goodness. Deploy decoys. Silent running. Can I stop recharging batteries and... I don't know where the icon is. Here we go. Recharge batteries on and off. Okay, let's turn that crap off. Hey, deadbeat Bart. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. This is by far the best stream I've ever had. 73 viewers? Uh, that is... That's great. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I've never had this many viewers in one stream. Uh, what do you mean by alternate history? Right in. And thanks, Mr. Mojang. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dip down to seven meters. And maybe it's just better to... Let's just... Maybe it's better just to be on the periscope. So don't constantly get... Oh no, this is not good. Bouncing up and down like crazy. Well, we'll keep running parallel. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, we'll ch chase them down. Yeah, I know, Twash. It really is. I was I was talking about it earlier. Uh, you know, so probably less than a year ago, I was think I was super excited when I'd get 30 subscribers in a month. Uh, I thought that was awesome and amazing and now I get 30 subscribers in a day and uh, you know it's it's extremely exciting so I it's fun I'm happy to hear it also I mean the stream is named 5,000 subscriber stream but I couldn't get around to streaming before I was well over like I'm already at what 5,070 something you know so 
Hey, thanks, Deadbeat Bert. I appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna gonna branch out and do a bit more content than just uh, Silent Hunter and Isle 2, but especially with all the game, like we were talking about it earlier, all the games coming out, lots of stuff for a channel like me to cover. Yeah, I do want to stream more. Unfortunately, uh, it's it's just a matter of time. Uh, too little time, so much I want to do. Uh, the Tommy Destroyer is crossing. Yeah, they're just doing a zigzag pattern. Let's go ahead and change my course a little bit. Just to avoid him. And we keep getting kicked down here. It's quite irritating. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Okay, so I think this is the main battle line right here. It looks like four, possibly five cruisers. Um, I think that's what... It, this screen of destroyers is protecting. God, man. Let's get back up there. Let's see, <laughs> shut up and sail the boat. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, these waves are not making it easy for me. I can't, I can't wait to binge your videos like I binged The Witcher. You know, I never actually got around to really playing that game as much as I would have liked. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for Cyberpunk, though. That looks pretty good. Oh, no, definitely. I mean, the games I play on YouTube are mostly the games that I play in my spare time uh, overall. I do dabble in a little bit of RPGs and stuff. Uh, in my spare time, but you know, I I love simulation, so. And uh, Finnish is a first-time viewer, so let's welcome Finnish. Hey, how's it going, Mort? And thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, Captain Tom, what is my depth under keel? My depth under keel is actually pretty good right now. Uh, let's see. I think 438 meters so yeah definitely plenty of room to uh, maneuver in we should be okay if we uh, get attacked here see there's the battle line I don't know if you guys can see that with uh, YouTube and all so that is definitely uh, might be an issue yeah dry dock I unfortunately do have a day job. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's holding me back, man. That game, The Witch, is creepy. The Witch? I've never heard of that game. You mean The Witcher? Is there a game called The Witch? I'm sure there is. It definitely sounds like uh, a name of a game. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, dry dog. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna resign and uh, become a full-time YouTuber. Ah, uh, I don't think that could happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I agree. There are some pretty creepy moments from what I've seen. So what are you guys playing? Yennefer's creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you guys watched the the new Witcher TV show? I haven't. I'm, I'm just curious uh, what everyone else's thoughts are. Blair Witch. Yeah, I've seen that. I saw that game as well. Man, we're just sailing at times one time compression. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just so nervous without the map updates. I can't just use time compression and check. Uh, I'm afraid at any minute now. They have no visual contact. 
but I do. Let's see, they're at zero five zero. Let's go ahead and change course, cut towards them a little bit. Oh, you've seen the... Oh, so some people like The Witcher, some people uh, don't. Interesting. Uh, Hadwell, Cold Water uh, is 50% off right now. Good game, definitely recommend playing it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fun. I'm really enjoying that series I'm doing on it, actually. <sighs> right when I go up, they kick me down. All right, they're still out there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and change it just a smidge, and keep on going. Hey, that's what I go for, uh, Curran. And yeah, Dry Dock is right. It's uh, Red Storm Rising re Remastered. Nothing wrong with that. Can't do anything. Uh, Kenner says, started playing Silent Hunter 4 because of you and your mods. Watch, because they're like short movies. You know, that's exactly what I'm going for. I, I'm trying, I'm trying to emulate Star Trek on this channel. <laughs> In a way, uh, it's really what it, where I got the idea for the little intros from. I guess it's kind of obvious. You don't like the merchant models in this mod pack? I guess I haven't taken a good look at them. From what I've seen, they're from a, another mod, so. Uh, have I played Hidden and Dangerous too? No, I haven't. I actually have not heard about that. Sounds interesting, however. Uh, the Void Star says, depends on what I'm in the mood for. Most of play is COD, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, World of Warships, SWOTOR. Talk about an MMO I played an absolute buttload of. Star Wars The Old Republic? See, that's where I thought you got your name from, because that was one of the, the PvP maps on the Void Star. Man, that is... That's a game. I used to I used to be into that game quite a lot. I haven't played the new Onslaught expansion, but oh boy. <laughs> now I'm thinking about getting back in the Star Wars Old Republic. Uh hey, Karucha? I I don't know if I said that correctly. This is Silent Hunter 4 with uh, the Dark Waters mod pack. Uh, you can find it on Subsim. Just t Google Silent Hunter 4 U-Boat Missions Dark Waters. I'm sure you'd be able to find it. Oh yeah, I saw that dry, dry, uh, oh my gosh, dry dog. Ugh, words are hard. They, they posted a B-17 and an M1 Abrams. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see what they'll end up cooking up. I, I'm excited to see them come back. Uh, my Silent Hunter reminds me of the miniseries version of Das Boat. Yeah, that that is true. That version does have the journal entries. I I do I have both. I have the director's cut and then you know the five-hour miniseries version. <laughs> uh, DDG got it. I will call it that from now on. What's the light out there? There's a light out here. Come on, get me on the bridge. I don't see a light. The star? Uh. Hello there. Uh, I, I'm not seeing anything. We're slowly but surely. I don't even know if we're really catching up. We're only making 15 knots. This might be futile. I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, this might be futile. Uh, cause they're going, they're sailing at 14 knots. Yeah, we're just barely, we're, I think I'm gonna break off this attack. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up to them in this, uh, in these waves. So let's go ahead and take a look at them at ex on external view. I know we spent all this time looking, trying to get them, but, uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to catch them in these seas. They're, they're hauling ass, as, uh, they say. Where are they? They're over here. Oh, uh, let's see. It must have been the star. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's good, uh, DDG. I'm very... It seems like they are. A lot of... Everything they've posted seems really good. I'm excited to see what they actually cook up. Here we go. We got uh, a British destroyer. Uh, to watch ass, have I ever watched Band of Brothers? Indeed, I have. Yeah, James Watson. Uh, das Boat was originally a miniseries. I think it was a five-parter uh, released in Germany. And then they, they made it into a movie as well. So, uh, you can get, like, the uncut version. It's five hours. Uh, but yeah, Band of Brothers, another fantastic miniseries. I also... Did you guys hear the rumors that they're doing a... Uh, a mini series over the Mighty Eighth. I think that's what they're uh, they're planning on. I think Masters of the Air is the book they're basing it on. Here we go. Yep, definitely cruisers. It's like four of them. I initially thought. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm just not going to be able to catch them in the seas. Let's look over here further down. See if there was anything a little, little meatier. Oh, doesn't look like it. it. Looks like just more destroyers. So, just the task force. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, change course. Let's drop our speed down and uh, secure from battle stations. All right. Let's that was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, I apologize for that. I thought we'd be able to catch them, but we were only making 14 knots. It was not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, light cruisers. Uh, Tobis asks, have I gotten your hands on DCS yet? I, in indeed I have. I've been flying the FA-18 Hornet a bit. But right now, my my obsession is the Vigan, out of all things. Now that is a fun airplane. I actually uh, I actually fly with uh, John, who is the game developer behind Roger Meeple, and uh, Shamrock, who is the writer of the Stormbirds blog. I fly with them a lot. Uh, we fly all sorts of things, so but. Definitely check those two things out if you haven't. I'm just plugging all sorts of stuff tonight. We've been going for an hour and 24 minutes, so, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, I definitely am gonna try to do some DCS content. I don't know if I'll ever touch DCS World War II. No, the Vigan, the Vigan is fun. I, it's an awesome plane. I also have the F-86 Sabre. I'm planning on doing a, a campaign, the script, new scripted campaign in that in the future. So what do you guys think? We've been streaming for an hour and 24 minutes. Nothing much has really happened. Um, do you want me to infiltrate Alexandria? What do you guys think about that? Does that sound fun to you? Is that a, is that a good plan? Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stream. Let's see, oh my, it's one o'clock in the morning here. So uh, is that is that something you guys wanna see or would you rather the Suez Canal? Let's go take a trip down it. Which one would you prefer? Let's hear it. Uh, this is a democracy. Yeah, I thought so too, DDG. I love the F-86 Sabre. Uh, if there is, if there is one jet that I have to choose, uh, yes and yes. Go with infiltrating Alexandria. Alexandria, it seems. Suez. We got one for Suez. 
<laughs> Alexandria. Okay. Looks like Alexandria is it. So let's go ahead and boop. head towards it. That is true, Beetlejuice. I mean, Monday's still 24, I guess, uh, yeah, 24 hours away. 24 hours and 8 minutes. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, bueno plan. Everyone, everyone's very excited about Alexandria. Yeah, just go to Suez afterwards. That's true. It's just a short trip. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and refill my water real fast. Uh, Logan says he can't wait for IL-2 to add bombers. Yeah, there's a big discussion about four-engine bombers in IL-2. 81 viewers. Wow, that's a. I think that's a record. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, but I don't. I don't think uh, they actually will end up adding four-engine bombers in the game. Oh my goodness. I will be right back. I need some more water. So, I will uh, give you this wonderful view of the bridge, and I'll angle it like this so you can see the aircraft coming down uh, to bomb me. <laughs> I'll be just one minute, folks. All right, I'm back, everybody. And, uh, you know, I got some water, a nice, refreshing beverage, and I also got a beer. Oh, boy. Wow, I'm, I'm, such, a, I'm such a sad person. In five minutes, I'll be drinking on a Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue onwards. Yeah, water. <laughs> Why does everyone think I am some sort of alcoholic? Every <laughs> yeah, this is this is great. This is this is an exciting stream. This is awesome. I'm very happy with this. This is going well. I I don't know. Maybe we'll attack Alexandria, and if I'm I'm feeling really really uh, crazy I'll go ahead and uh, go down the Suez Canal we'll get the best of both worlds I think so so uh, anyway let's see mm. and this this is a good beer mm. cracking one open with the boys yeah let's infiltrate Alexandria while intoxicated <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Finish says I'm a drunk. You know what, Finish? Um, if someone... Here, I can look it up on my phone and link the mod in the chat for you. Uh, Curran? I, I hope... I probably mispronounced that. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Let's see, can I f let's find my stream on my phone and oh, and, uh, oh baby, I got distracted. I have a ship zero zero four degrees. We got some intense battle music. There you go. There's the, there's the link right there. Ah, 
No, I think I think the big problem is uh, evading the destroyers while drunk. <laughs> I'm giving the Tommies all sorts. Of, I don't see this guy. I'm giving the Tommies a lot of. Oh, I see it. That it's just a little a little nugget on the on the horizon there. Well, there you go, Beetlejuice. Liquid courage. Yeah, I guess you can call it that. Yeah, I'm sure there are mines and such, um, but I, I guess that's going to be a look at the draw. I'm probably going to make this attack fairly far out to attempt to avoid those. Let's see, it looks like a lot of the deep water is kind of far out. Yeah, this is going to be tense. Uh, this might be a terrible idea. Okay, there's a ship right there. It looks like, looks like a merchant vessel, actually. Okay, so we're going to avoid that right for the time being. I don't want to let them know I'm actually inbound. <laughs> See, he sees things we don't. <laughs> Drunk. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I, I have a knack for spotting in, like, fight simulators as well. That's, uh... <laughs> that's something that, like, I end up seeing the targets way before others. I guess I just have good vision. Also... I, I make an effort to uh, make sure my monitor is nice and clean. Alright, we'll keep turning away from this guy. Uh, Deadbeat Bert, this will indeed be uploaded onto the channel. <laughs> also, uh, no one's mentioned it, but I apologize for uh, today's, or, yes, 12.59. Today's IL-2 episode being... Uh, non-existent. I'm bad at managing time sometimes, and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to upload that. But I do have my co-op series with uh, Tortuga Power coming, so uh, yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Twash. I appreciate it. Have fun at work. Hope it's, uh, why is the scary music on? I wasn't paying attention. I hope you're not a destroyer. Uh, it's not shooting at me. I think it's a merchant ship. Oh, we were spotted, damn it. Fuck. Maybe I am drunk. Yeah, it was just a merchant ship. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on course. Let's go nice and slow. You know what? Let's just let's just go in there. Battery power's fine. CO2 is going to be fine. We should be able to make the entire journey submerged here. Oh boy. Yep. See you later, Twash. Appreciate you stopping by, man. All right. Apparently, uh, it's getting pretty shallow. Let's go ahead and take take a look. Raise that scope. Oh, uh, is that a plane? It was probably my cursor. I don't think there was an aircraft. Let's go to periscope depth. Hey, thank you. Hey, and no worries, Deadbeat Bert. Uh, and the rest of it will be up on a video. And uh, <laughs> hopefully something crazy happens. Who knows? We might die. If I die, I'm okay with that. That would really round out uh, the stream as a story. Uh, Wolfpack gets uh, assigned the U-747 and promptly dies with it. Oh boy, there are a few ships there. Quite a few ships. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and get closer. Let's check for uh, warship. Oh, baby! What what do we have going on there? That is, that is a little uh, a little hot. Alright, I'm just going to continue to suck down this beer. <sighs> this is not going to end well. Oh, what is that? Okay, well, we definitely have our two targets here. 
Oh, look at that. Like ducks in a row. Yeah, those two those two ships are definitely our targets. What, what do we get? What do we got? I guess the It's not a hood. Revenge. Yeah, it looks like they're both revenge class battleships. At least to me. Yeah, I think they are. Check. Check. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer here. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. It's an aircraft spotted. 056. That is not good. Oh boy, I'm kind of scared now. They can th most definitely spot us. Uh, the water is rather shallow for one. Let's go to our observation scope. Since this one has a, you can pitch this one up all the way. Oh, Seagull scared the hell out of me. All right, I'm not seeing anything. Both scopes down. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's my? I I drink a uh, local beer, Andrew. Um, how do you like SH SH four or? I I don't know. I like them both pretty much equally. Uh, they're both really great games, and they're both uh similar enough. Um, I do prefer Silent Hunter 4's crew management. Okay, time to, m you know what, finish? I don't need your, your sass, quite, quite frankly. So, uh, <laughs> and hopefully there's no, uh, we don't run right into a mine. That would, that would be, uh, sad, quite frankly. I keep saying quite frankly. I'd, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just work here. We're gonna have to get a little closer. This should be actually okay. All right. Up scope. <laughs> you like the Italians do? Wear your swimsuit and ride the torpedo all the way there. Guarantee me a hit. Now, okay. This is this is the problem with uh, Silent Hunter Four. So the ships are rendered. You can see the ships. But the buildings do not render. Uh, even though the ships are rendered. So I can't see if those two battleships are behind a seawall. So I'm going to come over here. We know what we're shooting at. I really just want to make sure they're not behind a seawall. I don't know. And yeah, exactly what I was worried. Look at that. So yeah, we are we are seeing some of the problems with the games. So they're both I don't know. That's going to be kind of hard to actually get to. So I don't think those are going to be targets that are uh, we can fire. So yeah, that is that is one problem with Silent Hunter 4. And also a lot of you know I absolutely loathe port raids in these games, but I'm doing it because it's fun. Uh, so it looks like our our targets are really going to be these merchant ships clustered up here. Oh, there was 89 viewers? Oh no, finish, don't go. Please don't, buddy. I guess I could try to get in here. Should I really try to do that, though? That seems like a terrible idea, <laughs> quite, to be honest. Uh, the nets and everything. Um, let's make sure men are on the damage control team. Alright, I guess there is, yep, they are. Let's go ahead and man battle stations. Nope. There we go. So, I think the merchant ships are probably my best target. Um, I really, getting back in there just seems, seems extremely difficult. Uh, I guess if the people will it. I'm just worried about hitting a mine or especially a torpedo net. 
because uh, the nets can be quite, or just a, a anti-sub net, the nets can be quite tricky. Cause quite a few issues. Or we can just uh, shoot that grouping of two right there and send them both down to the bottom. Or just shoot a salvo into that, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think, because once we hit that destroyer, all of those warships are going to mobilize. That sounds like an awful idea. So, since I'm going to kind of cheat here and just make sure these guys aren't behind a seawall. Just looking at the map, it doesn't look like they are. But, uh, the game's kind of uh, making me nervous in that retrospect. No, it looks like everything here is free game. Everything out here. Okay, so that is good. Go for it, it's only a game. Okay, all right, we'll go for it. You know what, screw it, guys. Let's work for silent running. I just don't wanna end with us hitting a submarine net and dying. But uh, the stream wills it. Oh my god. We're getting shot at. Oh no. Secure from silent. <laughs> okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and just hit a merchant ship. I guess the gun crew, one of the coastal guns saw me. Okay, well with that, we're gonna go ahead and fire at these guys. This one looks like at a halfway, ooh, these look really good. Let's change course slightly. Man, that was scary. Yeah, I have a feeling all of those... Let's see, are they mobilizing? Uh, maybe they're okay. James Watson's telling me to get out. I'm gonna take a few of these merchant ships with me. I, I don't think the uh, the battleships are a valid target. I mean, uh, we're we're close enough already. Let's just, you know what? If I die, it is your fault. And chat, you are the reason that the stream will be an abysmal failure. <laughs> uh, five more minutes. Okay. Let's keep heading. Oh, thankfully it'll be dark here. Not hearing any pinging. Uh, in Silent Hunter 3 they do. We'll see. All right, we're heading we're heading deep into the the bowels of Alexandria. Is that the appropriate word? All right, periscopes repaired. Thank you. Thanks, damage control. I'm surprised we haven't hit a net or a mine. Uh, we just got shot at, got a little scratch, that'll buff out, so. Uh, come up, Periscope. Let's come up to uh, 12 meters. Do I have flooding or something? What, what, what the heck is going on here? Okay, so mostly everything that's damaged is topside, so they hit our conic tower. We have no hold damage, so. Should be okay. All right, there's battleship number one. Do I have a better angle on? God, I really wish the port would render in. Okay, it has, it has. So that one's behind a, a seawall. I guess that one's probably in here in the berth. So it looks like this one's gonna have to be suffice for my target. Oh, but that's such a bad angle. Oh my gosh. That is scary. So I could try to fire magnetics. What is the draft of a revenge class battleship? 8.5 meters. 
So, let's actually do this. Depth under keel is 8 meters. So we could probably fire magnetics and be okay. Okay, so in that case, lock on a target. Angle on bow is absolutely abysmal. Probably 20 degrees starboard. Speed is zero, nada. Range, we will establish. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god, it's shooting at me, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, range, let's just go ahead and guess. One kilometer out. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll shoot a salvo. This is all your guys' fault. I'm just letting you know. Depth, we'll do 10. We'll do uh, 9.5 meters, one meter below it. Pistol, magnetic, speed, slow. And uh, spread, we'll have minimal. Open tubes. All right. Those are only 14. Yeah, nothing nothing to worry about. All right, upscope. They can spot your periscope pretty easily. All right. Let's take a look. Lock on target. Angle on bow. Still good. All right, all torpedoes. Fire. All right, tube two away. Tube three away. Tube four away. Scope down. Let's get the hell out of here. My scope is retracting very, very slowly because it's damaged. Now, hopefully, I don't miss. It would be it would be nice to nice to get a hit here. Let's look at our boat. Oh my goodness. Where are is my battleship friend? It's right there. There's the torpedoes. They're swimming. Hopefully the magnetic pistols work and hopefully my I actually hit the target. Although it does not actually look very good. I don't know. We'll just follow them in just because it's fun. Oh no, I think we might have missed. How do I miss a stationary target? Oh yeah, I sure did. Wow, that sucks. We're gonna hit the seawall. Or just the, the dock here. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well... Causing some damage to the infrastructure, I guess. I don't understand how that happened. I mean, I had speed at zero. Maybe I should, uh, probably because I didn't lock it in. Damn it. That might have been it. Fail. Yeah, I know. All right, well, in that case, we'll sing, swing around and we'll hit something with, uh, we'll hit something with our stern torpedo and hopefully we can actually hit it. Yeah, we gave him a nice bath. You know, I. I'm a pacifist U-boat captain, okay? I, I really don't want to uh, harm anybody if I can avoid it, so that's why I, I intentionally missed. I just, you know, want to scare them. So, look at that merchant ship, though. Okay, rudder amidships. Alright, depth on this guy. We'll do three meters. Where are you? Where'd you go? Lock on target. Yes, sir. 120 degree AOB. Actually, no. Probably like 40 degrees. Sorry. Brain fart. Uh, range, 500 meters. And... Uh, 
Oh, and we have our stat here. Oh, I can actually probably identify the ship. Let's see. Identify target. I think they'll do it for me. Because there's such an uh, absurd amount of ships. All right. Okay, you know what? I think this is fine. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this has not gone well. Impact pistol. Speed, yada, yada, yada. Open tube five. Alright, this is the one right here. I hope. Speed's at zero, right? Oh no, come back. All right, and fire. I like that sound, that buzzer sounds pretty cool. Now hopefully this one is uh, an impact. This one looks significantly better. Yeah, I think it was because I didn't actually uh, lock the TDC position. So uh, who knows, maybe this one might miss too. I'm not. It's not looking too good, actually. Oh my god, if I miss this one, I'm going to be very upset with myself. Oh my goodness, am I really? If only I had magnetic. I'm actually really annoyed with myself. What the hell? This has turned out to be a disastrous stream. What the heck? I'm very upset. Okay, we're coming around. Third time's the charm, folks. Why is it doing that? Why am I doing that? I really don't understand what's going on. If any of you have any uh, <laughs> suggestions as to what the heck is going on, uh, let me know. Let me know. I really don't understand. Is this entertaining? Okay, apparently this torpedo was a dud anyway. It just slammed into the, the side of the harbor and with no effect. I, I really don't understand uh, why it did that. No idea at all. Okay. Speed zero. Angle on bow, probably probably a little better. Yeah, you know, let's go 70 degrees. That sounds reasonable. Tube one. Lock that lock that in. Lock that sucker in right there. Depth, three meters. Impact pistol. Speed fast. Uh yeah, and we'll actually we'll aim for the bow quadrant here. And maybe you know what? identify this bad boy again let's take a look what's the draft 7.9 meters okay so we'll set our draft to 8 meters or 8.9 Okay, and magnetic pistol. All right, final check. And we'll aim for this portion of the ship because my torpedo seems to be running aft. So, speed is zero. Angle on bow, 70 degrees, reasonable, I think. Range, 500 meters. Range doesn't really matter in this scenario as much. Speed fast, and magnetic pistol, and all that jazz. Open tube one. It's the current. There we go. All right, fire. Okay, if this misses, I'm ending the stream immediately. Oh, 
If it's a dud, I'm gonna <laughs> be livid. Oh, it's a G7A. It should have a bubble trail. I don't see it though. Oh! <gasps> yes! There we go. There we go. Finally, we got a hit. I hope it goes down. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they're just they're just letting us uh. They're just letting us uh, sit here. I guess the the ship is okay. So you know what that means? We need to do another one. After this, we're leaving. This is dumb. See, this is why I hate port raids. Cause this is stupid. <laughs> All right, what we're doing right here is uh, yeah, not right. All right, open tube two. Depth. We'll do. Uh, we'll do that again. We'll aim a little more forward. So draft is seven point nine, correct? So we'll do uh, eight point nine. Magnetic pistol. Steve passed. Yada yada yada. Tube two ready. Fire. Let's turn around and get out of here. All right. Continue on our course. All right. It's time to catch up on the chat. Drinking shot game is a go. Yeah, the current killed the stream. <laughs> it very well could be the current. I mean, it is it is pretty uh, rough. That's, that's a good explanation. I guess my main question is, uh, my G7As don't have bubble trails. That's my concern right here, though. So, uh, it's odd that they are not showing up. Yeah, we'll blame my misses on uh, torpedo malfunctions. All right, this should be another hit. Get another, let me get another, there we go. Oh, and that's that's gonna put her under right there. Oh, that fire effect is quite nice, actually. That looks really good. All right, let's check on, uh, let's check on chat. Yeah, he, he yeah, cuz he fired uh two salvos if I remember correctly, uh DDG. Deck gun time. Uh I'm not going to surface and use the deck gun with uh those guys over there. They already popped shots at me. So yeah, this thing's certainly going to end up going down here. Nope. Yeah, see okay, this is my problem. We would be absolutely screwed right now, but I'm going to be able to get away scot-free. I don't mean... I mean, like, enemy unit destroyed, so it, it went down, apparently. It's going down over here. There she goes. And they'll be able to raise her, <laughs> most likely. Uh, but still, you know what? It was It was fun to miss... All my torpedoes on you, or one. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the battleship, but you know, it is what it is. Shoot some more torps at the disabled ship. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hike over to the Suez Canal and uh, enter it and end the stream. That's what we'll do to end the stream. And we'll just sail down it into the sunset, fade to black. Uh oh, ruh -ruh. How does he see me? Oh, my scope's still up. All ahead flank. Thought I lowered my scope. Thought I did the keybind. Oh my gosh, this thing is taking forever to lower. So it's damaged. What is that that shot me? Just a little gunboat? This is... This is... Awful. <laughs> All 
All right. There we go. We're not going to use that scope anymore. Let's go to our observation scope. Oh, I hit the wrong key bind. That's what it was. So control plus whatever insert lowers and raises and insert and delete. I lowered my uh, observation scope. Oh, hello. It's still shooting. So it is a little tugboat. It's just a little gunboat. Let's take a look at it. Wow. British Defense Force right here. Look at this. Yeah, it's just a little arm talk. But oh, it has depth charges, though. I shouldn't be making fun of it. That thing's going to kill me. Let's head flank for the deep water. Um, can you follow the nearest warship contact, please? Let's see, where are you? I got some stuff out there. I'm not going to be able to hear much because of our engine noise. Apparently there's no sound contact. We're slowly inching towards deeper water here. Let's go to our observation scope. Raise it. This one's raising rather slowly as well. I think it's just uh, damage. Everyone's gangsta until the depth charges are dropping. That That is a uh, true statement. So I'm not seeing anything right in front of us. It looks like it's just a little tugboat. So we should be a-okay -A here. Yeah, I might be able to outrun it on the surface. I'm sure I would be able to, but I want to get out of range of those uh, those 14-inch guns. Also, all of the uh, coastal emplacements are quite scary as well. So I think it'd be best just to go underwater, and it looks like we're going to get away. Alright, let's go ahead and secure from battle stations. I'm sure my crew is absolutely exhausted now. All right, and let's surface the boat all ahead. Standard. There we go. Easy enough. Continue on course. Let's head for the Suez Canal to uh, end the stream out. I've had 81 viewers for a good chunk of this. All right, let's see. There is a PBY. Is that what I encountered? Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't sink a, a neutral. It was. It was indeed British. It was flying a big old, old British flag. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Our periscope's repaired. Were you talking about me making fun of the little little tugboat, uh, Void Star? Uh, it looks like this guy says I should play IL-2 1946 in a career mode. Yeah, I might. Uh, there's just so much great battle stuff to uh, sift my way through. Uh, no, so the way Silent Hunter 4 does it is you actually get shifts, Dry Dock. Or uh, DGG, sorry, so... And also, if your crew is actually, oh no, they're all hurt. That's not good. So we'll get these guys down inside. We'll just move them here for now. And that's what these guys are for. So you're, it's another bug with Silent Hunter 4. See, I guess this is why I prefer Silent Hunter 3 over Silent Hunter 4. There's quite a bit of uh, bugs like this. So even when you're submerged, whenever your crew is on the top side portion, uh, they are still easier to get to kill. So like whenever I took that hit to the conning tower, it it killed all these guys. Let's see. Yeah, health zero out of ten. So everyone here is dead. And uh, they really shouldn't be. 
Um, and at, in Silent Hunter 3, you can bury your guys at sea. Uh, this is just the uh, just the one mod battleship. Hey, see you around, James. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm just gonna we're just gonna take a look at the Suez Canal, and we're gonna end the stream. Oh. Where are you? <sighs> Big heads in the way. Uh, it's way out there. Let's go ahead and go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's screaming at me. <clears throat> yeah, no worries, Tobis. Like I said, the stream's just about to end. I figured I'd uh, give everyone a... Oh, shit. The heck? Oh, boy. How? How did he not see? He was literally looking right at it. Oh, this is this is going to be quite the ending here. This is it right here. Yeah, definitely a jump scare. Oh my gosh. I, I like how he spotted it after uh, my boat was hit. Genius. Let me guess, everyone's dead. Oh, they're just wounded. Whoever that man was. <laughs> Alright. That destroyer is about to, uh... Oh, we have heavy flooding. Oh, I think we might die here. Let's try to get the water out. See, uh... Trying to see what every what I need to repair. Okay, I think this is okay. Let's, oh no. Yeah, I think this is it, boys. Let's, let's look at the. He's wait. He's no. That's that's a star. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to end well for uh, you 747, but this is as good of an ending as any, I think. This is going to be exciting. Yeah, I'm definitely done. Honestly, flooding might kill us first. The stern torpedo room is pretty much completely flooded. Still says zero zero hole damage. I wonder if it always says this, if it ever updates. That pinging's getting quite loud as well. And rapid. Let's try to... <laughs> uh, thanks, DDG. 
Yeah, this is not gonna end well. I'm just waiting for the depth charges. Oh, he's closing. We'll go ahead and use some, use some time compression here. Honestly, I think the flooding might kill us first. Out with the bang. That is right. That's what I wanted. Goodbye, you 747. It's been a fun stream, though. So I guess I'll go ahead with the with the pinging in our ears. I want to I wanna personally thank all of you guys for well, watching the stream and being subscribers and supporting the channel and everything. Uh, like I said, 5,000 subscribers is more than I could ever imagine. And it's all happened extremely quickly. Uh, the growth has been fantastic so yeah we're 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 doomed oh he's getting close <laughs> I'm excited obviously I do not play nearly as seriously in my live stream as I do on my YouTube videos uh Yeah, rest in peace, Cheeky Breaky. <laughs> Captain Cheeky Breaky. Come and get me, Tommy. Oh, what the? Oh, there's two more coming. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> there's no way we are going to survive. Hey, well, thanks for joining me, uh, Captain. Captain Tom. And yeah, thanks, SG Simulations. Let's go ahead and watch our demise here. I think they're about to roll depth charges, I'm sure. I can't believe that watch officer, that guy on watch did not see. Oh, is he not? Is he not? I'm right down here. Somewhere. Come get me. Just pass right over me, come on. Am I, I don't even see my boat. Oh, there we are. We have a big hole. I guess he's not, oh, we're getting the boat back on the move, okay. Honestly, I'm amazed he didn't roll depth charges and kill me. That would have been a great ending. Uh, but now we're, we're stuck here. The game, the game doesn't will the stream to end just yet, I suppose. I have to wait for our... Oh. There we go. There's his depth chart. A little off. I feel like we're making all sorts of noise down here. Banging around with the, uh, the flooding. And the wrenches. Trying to shut those leaks up. Oh, this is, this is it right here. Let's see them. Let's see those ash cans. Maybe they don't want to kill me. They just want to play with their food, it seems. Now there's all three of them are uh, hanging out here. Looks like this one's coming in. I really don't see my... I don't see my boat. So, I'm just... Let's go ahead. Let's drop them. I want you to kill me. Contact. Kriegsschiff entfernt sich auf 302. Geringe Entfernung. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Wow, they're not very good at this. We have some sort of weird noise going on now. I don't know what's causing that awful noise. But, uh, anyway, I think I... Oh, let's go ahead and see some more time compression. Literally, come kill me. There we go. That looked pretty brutal. Yeah, we're boned. Yeah, everyone's screaming. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's been 
it's been good knowing all of you. He's getting a very nice shower. That's the that's the face of a man who has Captain Cheeky Breaky in command. I'd expect nothing <laughs> nothing less. Uh, I hear them above us. It's been nice knowing you. Except you, weapons officer. You failed me during that torpedo attack. See, they, they'll probably, uh... Probably drop some. Oh my goodness, these guys are bad at this. All right, just time to. You know what? Blow ballast. <laughs> Let's get up there. Let's be somebody. I don't know. I think we have too much flooding to blow ballast, so we'll just sit down here and die. This has been. This is dumb. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that weird that sound is. That's obnoxious, though. This one has a looks like he's on a good run. Someone's dropping him here too. Holy cow. All I want to do is die. That should have killed me. You're getting a lot of damage. Still alive though. Uh, the little hole thing is gone, so I'm assuming we're we're in pretty bad shape. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Surfacing would have been epic, but the game doesn't will it. Fire an ad cap. What I would give for an ad cap right now. Actually, one, three ad caps would be wonderful. All right, I think this is the last. This is it right here. All I want to do is die, Wolfpack. Oh man, that's funny. No, it's okay, SG. I never, you know, I honestly didn't expect this stream to end with my death, but uh. You know, it's still fun watching me die. I would never get myself into this situation in a real series, so I might as well just <laughs> uh, have fun. Obviously, this is I'm not taking this very seriously. Oh my gosh. These guys are giving me... I could probably get out of this, honestly, if I really tried. I really don't want to. These guys are extremely incompetent. Yeah, we're sinking with our magic typewriter. We're not giving them that. Oh, no. One's coming above us. Are they going to hit us? Oh, oh wow. I right, got a little bit more damage. I don't feel so good, stream. Alright, everything's flooding now. We have critical flooding. Batteries down to 10%. Alright, good night, guys. Good night, Tobus. Yeah, the stream, it probably has five more minutes. I'm just waiting to die. Oh, right, here comes here comes the next Tommy. He's dropping them. I think the depth charges uh, need to be more powerful. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is this is easy. Like I oh, hole damage is really at one percent. Is that really what that means? Everything's destroyed. My boat is completely done. 
See you later, Scott. Oh, no. People are starting to die. All right, see ya, DDG. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna call it. Compressor destroyed. Yeah, the sub's dead. We're dead. Uh, we'll watch this one guy's last run, and uh, then we're getting off. If he doesn't kill us in this one, I'm not going to sit here forever and let them do it. Alright, he's coming right over us. There we go. This look good. I'm rooting for you. Oh, there's a bubble there's a bubble trail or an oil slick. That's awesome. All right. Well, the U4 or 747 is creaking and moaning down there. We're going to exit the main menu. That was fun. I'm sorry it was such a uh <laughs> a bonkers stream. Uh but I mean this was really just to have fun. And uh you know, I don't goof around like that in my real series where i actually care a bit more but uh overall it was a fun stream it was just to celebrate hitting 5,000 subscribers and we streamed for two and a half hours oh my goodness so that was a long one thank you everybody for stopping by i appreciate it thanks for being one of my 5,000 subscribers and i'll see you guys on the next one um i guess i have my p38 lightning video coming out tomorrow so i'll see uh i guess you can see that so Glad you guys liked it. Sorry it ended kind of mediocre. Had a mediocre ending, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, all, it's all good. <laughs> oh, looking at the oil trail. Oh, one man looks at blood and guts on the ground. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm an interesting man. What can I say? All right, guys. Thanks, uh, and I will see you guys later.